Hi everybody, my name's Aaron and I'm an amateur. Uh, <laughs> working on the beast today, um, I have been marinating the bolts for the passenger seat in WD-40 for, uh, well, about a week and a half, maybe two weeks, every now and again, you know, I'll come out and spray some more in there. No guarantee whatsoever that that's gonna work. Uh, it certainly can't hurt, uh, but the floorboards of this car had standing water a lot. And uh, so everything's pretty well rusted. I just, I'm hoping, hoping that the bolts aren't completely fused to the, uh, to the floorboards and they'll actually come out. Um, we'll see. And uh, if that doesn't work, then uh, I don't know. We'll, I don't know, we'll go with plan B. Um, which plan B is uh, I'm just gonna start ripping out the carpet. Plan B for today anyway, is just gonna start rip ripping out the carpet um, Hurley wants attention. Uh, yeah, start ripping out the carpet. It's it's all ha it all has to come out anyway. Um, but yeah, that's plan B for the seat. I I don't know. Like I said, I'm an amateur. But uh, let's see how this goes. So step one, which I forgot on previous occasions, uh, step one is put on this here mask because uh, in addition to standing water, there's uh, a good bit of mouse turds and just general gunk and ickiness inside the car. And <clears throat> I don't want that in my nose. So protect myself. Yeah, here we go. All right. That's candidate number one. Other way. No. That's loose. Okay. <laughs> it's not a great start. So that's supposed to be like a universal sort of Anyway, it's, it's not, it's the right size, but it's not getting any, let's try this one. Mm. Oh. I think. Are you turning? Ladies and gentlemen. Boys and girls. Oh. Yeah. I think it is. Very narrow space in there. Bolt number one is moving. Well, 
<laughs> Bolt number two, really. And I tried, but the first one to move, so that's something. Hot diggity. Okay. tall it was just I'm working in a narrow spot oh, diggity. okay that's one um Hurley is being extra helpful Okay, so those are my two bolts right there. I can get you a shot. Random spring. Um, the trouble is that the bolts, this is not the socket is not catching properly just it's starting to round off the edges of the bolts and I don't I don't want that at all okay well let's see this next Super awkward position to be in. Yes. Okay, it's turning. So the back bolts came out just fine. Let's see. Let's see if my luck holds up. I think, I think I'm right that there are only two bolts. One on, one on each side. I hope I'm right. Because that's all that I was, <laughs> That's all that I was soaking. That's all I could see. Oh, we're moving. Oh, oh, don't, don't, don't round it off. Be careful there. Can't turn it by hand yet. Still not.
Pete's sake. <laughs> Come out already. Oh, for crying out loud. It's like one thread left and it just doesn't want to doesn't want to let go. There we go. Ha ha ha! Ha ha! Yeah, buddy. There it is. Number five of six. Now let's see. Will my luck hold out? You know it's serious when the hat goes on backwards. Okay, so that was just the nut on top of a post. Potential bad news. Hidden under a flap of carpet that I hadn't noticed is a second bolt. I don't think this bolt got any WD-40 treatment. Yeah, the carpet just tears right up. Oh no! Not one bolt, but two. One on either side. Do I risk it? We're gonna try.
another nut. I <laughs> huh. Wow. Wow. So there you go. All of the fasteners. They all came out. So now Now this seat, All right, well, I opened up the garage door because I'm about to start uh, ripping out some of this carpet. And, uh, there, you know, there's a lot, of, a lot of ickies in there. I don't want it hanging around in the, in the garage. So we'll leave the door open, you know, try and at least get some of it out. I just can't get these two bolts to move yet. So So yeah, we're just going to take out a little bit of this carpet and uh that'll at least give us a better better view of what we're doing. You know,
so. Gotta clean that a little more. I don't see any soft spots. You know, there's definitely some rust, but nothing broke through, so that's good. I just gotta get those two those two nuts off. And it's not going well. So this is an easy out socket. It's not a last resort. Cutting tools, a cutting torch is, is the last resort. Let's, let's hope this does the job. I shot the bolts with WD-40 before I went to the store. I mean, I, these both of these bolts have plenty of WD-40 uh, they've been soaked many times is what I'm trying to say um, but I, you know one more time couldn't hurt right so, let's see, so this is, it's just an awkward position, and that doesn't help anything. Starting to move. So, I looked up a YouTube video. About these things. May never be able to use these bolts again. Actually, these are nuts. But it's fine. Because the seat's got to come out. So the video I looked up said if it starts to if you're backing it off and it starts to get tight on you there you go uh, it says to switch your ratchet to the tighten direction when it when it gets tight doesn't want to come out anymore uh, back it down a little bit and then just keep switching directions and eventually really that's <laughs> stuck in there how am I gonna get that out
Okay. So. You can kind of see there, it was rounded off. Anyway, we'll, uh, we'll carry on. See if, see if the second one wants to move. Sure enough, just needed that break. And of course, this is a really small space. So I have to ratchet, ratchet, ratchet 80 million times. Come on. There we go. Man, look at that. What kinds of rust on that? Okay, so, here we go. I had gotten my, uh, my deep well, but they were too tall to fit in there. So that's why I had to go to the store to get Easy out. Okay, here we go. Seatbelt. Right? Know what we're doing? Yep. Turn off. Get out of there. Ooh, son of a bitch. Sink the bones to Davy Jones. Hooray. Ooh. 
We did it. Mark of excellence. Yeah. Okay. So. We did it. Curious what these wires are and why they were run underneath here and not. I mean, this is a wire run right here. So I don't know. I don't know what the deal is there. Anyway, seats out. That's good. That's very good. Makes me happy. Yeah. Okay. Now we'll do some vacuuming. Oh my. <laughs> the, uh, Our rust came off the seat. All right. Yeah. Okay. So I'm calling it a day. Uh, I'm pretty happy with with what we did. I mean, got that seat removed, you know? That's... That was... That was my main objective for today, was getting that seat out. Um, you know? Got some new tools out of <laughs> the deal. Got those easy out sockets. Um... I'm sure we will use them in the future. Um, so like I said, this thing, it was holding water for years. And unfortunately, uh, I have a, a bit of bad news on that front. Um, and that is that we can see daylight through the floorboards there. And you can see there's a little, right there, there's a little, um, so, yeah, and actually, as I was vacuuming, I don't know if you can really see that, but, like, there's flex there to the floor, um, so, I mean, I kind of expected that. Right, but still, like, seeing it for the first time is like, ooh, ooh, okay. Um, but anyway, you know, we'll soldier on. I'm, I'll, I'll figure something else, or something out for that. Um, uh, yeah, we'll just... I'm sure there's a YouTube video out there <laughs> that tells you how to make repairs, that kind of stuff. Um... It's not, it's not very big holes, fortunately. Um, the, most of the structure of the, of the floorboard seems pretty, pretty good, except, you know, except for that. We'll see, you know, when I get the, uh, the other side, the driver's side taken out. Um, see how bad the damage is over there. I expected actually more of that in the rear floorboards, the, you know, the, pet, the rear seat floorboards, because they were lower, um, so they held water longer, in, I would think. Um, anyway, you know, we'll, I'm sure we'll find more, more of this kind of stuff, but we'll just, we'll just keep plugging it forward. And, We'll get her, 
we'll get her back in ship shape. Um, anyway, that's uh, that's all I got for you today. Um, I hope you're enjoying this series, and uh, you know, tune in next time. Thanks for watching.